Greetings. This is Fundi Karima from the Shrine Christian Center of Houston. First and foremost, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Friday. And I'd also like to say thank you so much for your continued support of our virtual village. As I have mentioned several times, we are always looking at ways to improve the, the components, the elements of the virtual village so that what we have to offer will meet the needs of the people that come to us. And so I want to quickly tell you about a, a pretty significant change that occurred this past week. We changed Thursday Thursdays to become a recorded only call. Previously, it was a call where there was a specific time that you had to dial in if you wanted to hear the live call. Um, and what we found uh, by way of feedback from members is that people had a desire to participate, but the time was not convenient. Also, we want to open Thursday Thursdays up uh, to all the regions in terms of those who present. Right now, we only have presenters from the Southwest region. We want that to change. And so the time uh, restriction uh, posed a problem for uh, potential presenters in other regions. And so we decided to, for a time, make the Thursday Thursdays call a recorded call. And so you are able to uh, go to the yearofrestoration.org website to the Thursday Thursdays page and click on the link and listen via your computer, via your smartphone to a message uh, from one of our pastors, one of our someone designated by a pastor, a member or friend of our church who presents a, a message of encouragement, encouragement and inspiration for Thursday Thursdays. And so I want to uh, encourage everyone to please go out there and check out this week's message entitled Earth, Wind and Fire. The Pentecost story. It was presented by our own sister Rawia in the Southwest region, a very enjoyable and inspiring, encouraging uh, way to spend eight minutes. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to make you all aware of that change. Also, I want to remind everyone that we do have the uh, Jeremoji Abebe Ajaman souvenir booklet that we are uh, trying to prepare. The booklet will be comprised of photographs, uh, chronicling the life of our founder and first holy patriarch, coupled with writings uh, from members and friends around the country. Members and friends are able to write about the impact, the inspiration, the encouragement, uh, the uplift that they received by either knowing Jeremoji Abebe personally or being influenced by his life and his works. And so I encourage everyone who would like to contribute to the souvenir booklet to go out to the yearofrestoration.org website, go to the Jeremoji Abebe legacy page, and about halfway down the page you'll see an area that's uh, reserved for for writing your words regarding the First Holy Patriarch. And we ask that everyone reserve that uh, to about 250 words. We also uh, have a couple of fundraisers going on around the regions. We have uh, the Southwest region uh, having their t-shirt, Centennial t-shirt fundraiser. It's a fundraiser designed to uh, raise funds for the Jeremoji Abebe Ajiman Scholarship. It's a national t-shirt sale and we have the uh, online capability set up so that you can go out to the yearofrestoration.org website, go to the Jeremoji Abebe legacy page and order your t-shirt online. We encourage members and friends from around the country to order the t-shirts and they can be delivered to your regions by um, May 6th or 7th I believe. So we encourage you all to go out and order your national Centennial t-shirts. Also Detroit is having a Centennial cash giveaway. We want everyone in the Detroit area and from around the regions to support the Centennial cash giveaway. Uh, the prizes and information is listed in the e-blast and on the websites and I believe the drawing will be held on July 31st. So we encourage members and friends alike to support the Centennial cash giveaway. We also have the Maccabee Reunion of Warriors that will be held in Atlanta June 10th through 12th. 
We encourage members and friends to participate. You may go online to the Maccabee reunion page on the yearofrestoration.org website to register and pay fees. We encourage everybody to participate. This event is not just for Maccabees. It is open to all friends and family and those who love the Maccabees. So we encourage as many as possible to participate in the Maccabee reunion of warriors that will be held in Atlanta June 10th through 12th. We also have photos and videos, of course, for your viewing pleasure on the yearofrestoration.org website. And we want to encourage everyone to share this information with your friends and family and those you know who may not have access to the computer. We recognize that not everybody can access this information, but those who can should uh, help those who cannot. If you find out information on the e-blast or on the website, you may want to, if you can, print that information out to share with someone so that um, everyone can have visibility to what's going on and what's happening in the virtual village. And very quickly, I want to share a couple of things from around the regions. Detroit is preparing for its crowning glory hat tea. It'll be held tomorrow at Shrine 1 from 1 to 4 p.m. Tickets are $15 and the proceeds go to support the Female Rights of Passage program. And so we encourage everyone who is in the Detroit area to go out and support the Female Rights of Passage program. The women of worship in Atlanta are having their monthly meeting to uh, excuse me, yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow at Shrine 9 in the Red Room from 12:30 to 2. And so we encourage all sisters to go out and participate in the women of worship meeting. On Sunday May 29th, the Southwest Region will have a baccalaureate worship service where we will have guest preacher Ricky Wayne Georgetown from Riverside United Methodist Church worshiping and preaching with us. We encourage all members and friends to join us. We want to uh, encourage all graduates from kinder to postgraduate to join us for a worship service. And if you have cap and gown attire, we want you to bring that too. And we are asking that all graduates arrive at the shrine at 1115 on Sunday, May 29th. And also, lastly, we have Beulah Land. We want to remind everyone in, in the Calhoun Falls area that Beulah Land has a weekly communal meal every Wednesday at 7 p.m. It's open to the public, and they want to encourage friends and members to come out and um, fellowship with um, Beulah, the Beulah Land community and hear a word of God um, and have a good time. And with that, I'm going to say again, happy Friday. God bless. See you next week.